Hello friends, Satyendr here and in this video we are going to see ordinary dimensioning inside the part. And these ordinary dimensioning is going to be very handy when you create your drawing. And you can directly call these ordinary dimensions from your part to your drawing. And for this I have a sheet metal part with me and if I edit the feature of this part, go to sketch. I can see that the whole sketch is done by ordinary dimensioning. So when I go to my drawing, I can directly call these ordinary dimensions from the part. So the general way to do ordinary dimensions inside a drawing is go to ordinary dimension, select first line, press and hold control button and start selecting other lines. So this is the general way to create ordinary dimensions. But when you have all the ordinary dimensions inside your part, you can directly call model driven ordinary dimensions from your part. So this is going to be very handy when you create a drawing. So let's create ordinary dimensions inside the part. So directly go to the feature, edit, internal sketch, normal. So first I'll delete all these dimensions. Now this is my sketch, you can create your own sketch and once your sketch is done, you can go for ordinary dimensioning. And to create ordinary dimensions, we have an option called baseline. So go for baseline, select the first line, make this line as origin and once it is done, go to the dimension, select this origin and then using control button, start selecting multiple lines. Something like this. Same way, go for baseline, select this line as the origin, go to the dimension, select this origin and using control button, start selecting other lines. Your ordinary dimensions inside the sketch is done. Now say OK, OK and your part is done. Now go to the drawing, annotate model annotation and select your part. You are getting all the ordinary dimensions directly from your part. Now these ordinary dimensions are model driven ordinary dimensions. So you can double click and you can modify and it will update accordingly. So this was the whole idea about ordinary dimensioning inside the part and I hope this video will be helpful. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends. And subscribe my channel for further updates.